good Monday evening. I'm Kelsey Erkins here in the First Alert Weather Center. We are going to be seeing warmer conditions as we look ahead to the middle of this week. Outside right now, it is nice and comfortable. And Tuesday, we're still going to see a little bit of that onshore flow, but it starts to weaken. And this is when we'll start to see that high pressure building. So Tuesday, nice and mild. But by the time we get to Wednesday's forecast, those highs start to climb. We're looking at them being above normal for this time of year. By the time we get to your Thursday forecast, because that ridge of high pressure is just building first for the interior and then stretching out to the coastline as we head into Thursday and Friday. In fact, by the time we get to the end of this weekend, we have a chance of breaking some record highs out there. That's the reason why this excessive heat watch is in place, officially kicks in Wednesday, goes until Sunday. It is our warning that a warning is expected to be issued during that time. And it's a really good opportunity to make sure you're limiting your time in the sun, staying hydrated. Don't make those outdoor plans from Wednesday through Sunday, and even Monday is expected to be even hot, as we do expect there to be heat illness possible with those very warm conditions out there. So take a look at one of the reasons why the Central Coast was not included, and that is because they get to see that little bit of a marine layer in those morning hours, followed by afternoon sunshine. So Wednesday's the day that the heat really ramps up, and you'll see for the Central Coast, they still get a little bit of cloud cover, so they're excluded from that. But I do think probably Thursday, Friday, or into the weekend, we'll see a heat advisory issued for those locations there. Santa Barbara. You're gradually warming up and you're looking at 90s by the weekend. As far as those highs for tomorrow, staying pretty close to normal for the South Coast. Santa Barbara there at 78, 77 degrees in Goleta. Up into Lompoc, your high temperatures at 72. Santa Maria the same, low to mid 80s there for the San Ynez Valley. San Luis Obispo, your high temperature brings you to 77 degrees. 94 in Paso with Pismo Beach at 69 degrees. And then I'll take you back down south into Ventura County along the coastline mid to upper 70s. That's like your forecast.